hi everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me on this video please remember to like share and subscribe it's so important to hit that like button thank you marley's biopic one love is shattering box offices across the globe so we're happy that it has been successful and this is only a few days in it was released on february 14th and today is february the 19th so bob marley's one love collected a total amount of 80 million dollars so far and this is us dollars it became the second biggest music biopic opening only behind bohemian rhapsody as it has been released in 47 overseas markets one love has taken the world by storm from Kingston to New York to Paris, Ghana, London, Tokyo, it's everywhere. And people are flocking to witness the story of legendary Bob Marley brought to life on the big screen. I know that it didn't go into details, but we're hoping that they would probably do some series because as I mentioned before, it's hard um, to do a biopic with someone this famous because there's so many things, so many stories to tell, and you have such a short time. They had to devise a way in which they could touch on certain things. Music, him leaving Jamaica with his wife, Ziggy Marley, wanted to show the relationship of his parents, how they got together. Ronaldo Marcus Green directed Bob Marley biopic, One Love. It opened at number one in 13 markets and set new opening day records for a music biopic in the UK and France, among others. Marley One Love exceeded expectations in the otherwise lackluster week and earned 33.2 million over a four day holiday weekend. It collected 51 million in the domestic market. Bob Marley One Love tops five markets to date. These are the UK, 9.3 million. France, 5.5 million. Australia, 2 million. Germany, 1.8 million. And Brazil, 1.8 million. So remember, these numbers are moving. One love has taken the world by storm and people are flocking to witness the story of legendary Bob Marley brought to life on the big screen. Because as I mentioned before, it's hard um, to do a biopic with someone this famous because there's so many things, so many story stories to tell of such a short time. So they had to devise a way in which they could touch on certain things. And I think the main piece was the music, him leaving Jamaica, and then scenes with his wife. I think um, Ziggy Marley wanted to show the relationship um, with his parents how they got together and all of that and how she brought him to Rastafarianism, introduced him to the Rastafari movement. The Jamaicans may not have had like a major role in on set, but feeling the energy and knowing that they've contributed impactfully. Jamaicans that didn't have the main parts, but they had like speaking roles. And you have people like Savannah, Naomi Cowan and Michael Ward, you know, one of the main men that tried to assassinate Bob Marley. And then we have Tossing Cole, who played Tyrone Downey. Sheldon Shepard played Neville Garrett. Andrew Oakley played of Bob's lawyer, Diane Jobson. Aston Barrett Jr. plays Aston family man, Barrett. So that is the um, guitarist from the Whalers. He said he's like in the number five category in the world as a guitarist. That's how good he is. He recently passed away, so we're going to extend our condolences to the Barrett family. He played a significant role in the Whalers band. Silico playing Norval Marley, and that was Bob Marley's dad. Millions of dollars poured into Jamaica because they had hotels to be booked while they're um, shooting. I guess they shoot in different eras. And I know one of the areas was, of course, Trenchtown. And shooting was in Paris, also in London. They needed hotels, they needed hairdressers, people in the beauty industry, 
makeup, hair, nails, all of that. And they also need restaurants for food, name all the services that you can think of. They need transportation to the cast and crew and everyone involved in making One Love a reality. We salute you. Your dedication, passion, and talent have made this film a success. Cheers to the success of One Love. Here's to spreading Bob Marley's message of love, unity, and empowerment to the world. Keep shining, and may your journey continue to inspire generations to come. and finds the right people. Excellence makes me feel purposeful. People don't feel like they deserve better.